To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new. And since I'm using millimeters, I'm going to select FADs of 3D for metric units and click open. I'm going to draw on parallel projection, so click this drop down arrow and select parallel. Now I'm going to open my reference drawing, which is down here, and arrange my windows. All right, so I'm going to start working from front view. So go to custom view, select front. And start with circle. Now the diameter is 69.5. So type C for circle. Specify center point. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 69.5. Draw another circle. And the diameter of the pitch is 65.1. So type C for circle. Hover over on the side. Don't click. Once you see that plus sign, just snap that, type D for diameter option, and enter 65.1. So C, hover over on the side, snap the center, type D for diameter option, and enter 65.1, which is this one here. Another circle. And the radius for that is 12.5. So type C for circle. Snap the center. And enter 12.5. Another circle. Which is this one here. And the radius is 20. Now I'm going to create the keyhole. Which is this one. And the length is 30 by 6. So I'm just going to draw a line. From, I'm just going to hover from the center. Move my cursor upward. For 15 units. And then bring it down for 30. And the thickness is 6, so I'm just going to offset. So O for offset command. Enter, enter 3. Click this line, click this side, click this line, and click this side. Now draw a line from in point to in point. Another line, in point to in point. I'm going to delete this one. And trim, so TR for trim command. Double click. Cut that, trim that, and trim this one. Now I'm going to join the segments. So type J for join command. Right click and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to create the, a circle here. And then the curve starting from this tangent point here. So the tangent point is this one here. The end of that line. So circle first. And the radius for that is uh, 4.26. So C for circle. Snap the quadrant. And enter 4.26. And draw a line. From the center of that circle. Up to this um, point here. So what I'm going to do is, and as you can see here, the distance or the angle between these two lines is uh, 140 degrees. So draw a line. Snap the center. So shift right click, hover over the center, snap that, and draw a line below the, below the x-axis. So bring your cursor downward and don't click. Just press the tab key and enter minus 20. And mirror that line. So, MI for mirror command. Select this line. Right click to enter. Specify first point of mirror line. You can snap the quadrant here. Bring it downward. And make sure it's straight. 
follow the green dash line click and select no now trim so tr for trim command enter twice trim that and trim this one now i'm just gonna show you so the distance between these two lines is 140 degrees now i'm gonna extend this line for because i'm gonna use this as the radius this one here 18.38 so i'm gonna draw another line from in point and enter 18.38 for distance don't click just press the tab key and enter minus 20. and we can start our circle from the in point here and just snap the tangent point which is the end point of the first line that we draw all right so i'm going to draw a line from quadrant to that intersection and trim so tr for trim command enter twice trim that trim this one i'm just gonna erase this uh, curve and trim again so tr for trim command enter twice trim this one this one here actually we don't need that anymore we don't need this one i'm just gonna mirror so m i for mirror command mirror this one and that one right click and specify first point the mirror line you can start from the quadrant bring your cursor upward click and select no I'm going to trim, so TR for trim command, enter twice, trim that, and trim this one, and trim that one. Now I'm going to join the segment, so type J for join command, right click to enter, and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to hide this one first. So select the object, right click, hover over isolate, and hide object. So I'm just going to draw a line which is uh, from this point to this point which is also the diameter of this one here. So L for line. I'm just going to hover over from the quadrant, don't click, move your cursor to the right and enter and bring your cursor upward and enter 69.5. And draw a line from this point to this point for 4.6 and half of that is uh, 2.3 so L just hover over from the in point then click and enter 2.3 bring it back for 4.6 it's just my way of centering the line copy this one from midpoint to midpoint and um, another line from the center for 20 units starting from the midpoint so what I'm gonna do is uh, draw a line here I'm gonna draw this line first as a guide so half of 13.2 is seven no six point uh, gee six point six so line hover over from the midpoint enter six point six bring your line to the left and enter thirteen point two okay and another line halfway from the midpoint half of the 40 is 20 so line in point 20 and just gonna track bring it downward for 40 track again and just click that all right now I'm gonna draw another line from 
the ending of this curve or this arc or the starting of this arc which is from this point here and the distance from here to here is 58.16 so what I'm gonna do is just draw a line for 58.16 and the thickness for that is 7.2 so I'm just gonna offset for 7.2 line in point to in point another line in point to in point and just move this one move shift right click and select mid between two points so mid point to mid point now I'm holding the center of the object and snap it to the mid point here all right now I'm gonna draw the curve or the arc so go to home click this drop down arrow so inside the draw panel click this drop down arrow and select start end radius i'm gonna start from i'm gonna start from this in point to in point and enter the radius of 13. mirror this one so m i for mirror command click this arc right click to enter and specify first point of more line you can start from that mid point and as long as it's straight you can click anywhere or click here and select no mirror this one so in i select this object and this object right click and specify first point of more line click this in point click sideways click and select no now I could trim. Actually, I don't need this uh, lower portion. So TR for trim command. Enter twice. Just gonna window this part here. Delete. Trim again. delete those now I'm gonna join the segments by typing J for join command right click and we do the whole thing now this is one object now what I'm gonna do is move this one from midpoint to the center of this um, circle hover over shift right click and just snap the center here you see that cross now press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse i'm gonna rotate this one so inside the modify panel select 3d rotate click the object specify base point click the midpoint and then turn this around for Ninety degrees. There you go. See, I'm just gonna turn off the grid. See if we move this to right view. Now I'm gonna revolve this one. So type R E V for revolve command, or you can go to the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow, and select revolve. Click this object to revolve specify start point of defined axis so you can start from this in point here wait what i'm gonna do is bring this to right view it's easier all right revolve pick the object you want to revolve enter specify axis start point so start from there and click that in point and enter 360 degrees there you go now I'm gonna bring back my tooth or this one here not the tooth but this portion here to cut to create a tooth so just right click anywhere on the screen 
hover over isolate and select an object isolation all right now i'm gonna bring my drawing to front view i'm just gonna change this to x-ray or maybe warping all right so i'm gonna array this object or no i'm gonna extrude this one first it's easier so inside the modeling panel select extrude extrude it uh, for about more butter as long as it's um, thicker than this object here click I'm gonna show you from right view and move this one a little bit just over that uh, object and then bring this back to front view I'm gonna array this object so type a for array and select array polar click the object you want to array enter and specify center point of array hover over and snap that center and go to the ribbon and enter change the number of items to 16 and enter and enter again to accept I'm just gonna change this to conceptual maybe now I'm gonna explode this one first so X for explode command explode this object now this is individual object so I'm gonna use subtract command inside the solid editing panel and select this icon or a symbol click the object you want to keep right click and select the objects you want to subtract so I'm just gonna select that this one here So I use this to cut uh, this portion here and enter there you go now I'm gonna bring this to front view and change this one to wireframe and remember this one we did this one earlier so what I'm gonna do is extrude this one And move this a little bit here now I'm gonna use this one to subtract or cut or create a board so subtract command again inside the solid editing panel click the object you want to keep right click and select the object that you want to subtract now I'm just gonna move this one to that side just delete those all right I'm gonna change this to realistic I'm gonna apply fillet first and where is it here it's uh, 1.5 so go to solid select uh, fillet edge right click and select radius option you can go down to the command window here you can uh, select uh, radius and enter 1.5 and click this this edge and this edge here and enter twice i'm gonna minimize this one I forgot to tell you that uh, before you start you should turn on your dynamic input polar tracking object snap tracking object snap selection cycling and maybe dynamic UCS now I'm gonna apply materials so type materials MA and select materials and uh, click this drop down arrow here and select I'm just gonna select metallic paint I'm gonna select flake reflective beige apply that and then from here if you want to change the color uh, click this pen icon 
and to change the color click this one here and I chose uh, in my reference drawing I chose uh, pink And I think we're done. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon or bell button to get notified for the next tutorial. See you again.